slate grey, elephant grey, dry mud and buff. These colours are muted, very cool, wintry colours. They're not very vibrant, but one can ca create beautiful art with it nevertheless. And I'm going to show you a little painting I made. I actually made the painting whilst I was uh, in the mountains in Italy. Here are the colours that I use for it. So I'm mixing, I'm using paint grey, ultramarine blue, Van Dyke brown, nickel azo yellow and horridum gouache white, it's titanium gouache white. And the colours have um, the white in to make it more muted, to make it into a pastel, apart from these, uh, the slate grey which is pretty much paint grey used by itself to create that slate grey. The elephant grey is a bit tricky. I'm using ultramarine blue and I'm mixing horridum white in with it, adding a bit more blue. So you can see how it has a blue undertone. If I add the grey, which actually has a black pigment in it, the, the paint grey, it makes it into a darker tint or tone I should say with the black added to it. If I mix a bit of brown, the Van Dyke brown um, with white on my brush I get this uh, just a, a again a tint and a tone of brown that is the, the mud brown colour so not very vibrant, not lively, but it's a beautiful combination. The four of them work very well together with the buff as well uh, to create a wintry scene. So I've got some of my brown that I've already have on the brush. I mix white into it and this is in order to get a, a buff color. So I've got some Van Dyke brown and then I add the nickel as a yellow because I need to warm it up and I need to brighten it up a little bit and the only way I'll be able to do that is by adding yellow. It's just a question of how much yellow because I don't want to make it into something that's too too bright. And then I add a bit of ultramarine blue and that always kicks it into a dull green. And as I paint it there you can see the this buff uh, soft off white color made um, using the, the colors there, adding a little bit of yellow and just playing around, exploring what the colors do. Um, so that's Van Dyke brown. So at the top, paints gray, paints gray, ultramarine, and white to get the elephant uh, color. That is for week two. And then the Buff is white, it's actually brown added to it as well. Nickel as a yellow and the horridum white. So this is a painting I made, a little impromptu painting, houses in the snow and creating the grey. So firstly I made the buff background and uh, then I painted in white on top of it as well to make the snow. And I've got this darker uh, slate colour um, that is the, that's used for the trees and the contrast there, adding a little bit of detail in the snow. I've done this as a sketchbook project, maybe I'll create something bigger from it, but this is my colour study and linking it to the colours of this week. Adding a bit of detail onto the windows, painted with the white to create the snow. This was this white gouache by itself. And there's my painting, my little artwork. So I hope you enjoy exploring the different colors of week two. Use color as a creative catalyst to develop an ongoing creative habit. Have fun.